In this podcast episode, the host interviews Dr. Gabrielle Lyon, a physician and New York Times bestselling author who advocates for a muscle-centric approach to aging and longevity. She emphasizes the importance of skeletal muscle in overall health and longevity, arguing that diseases like cardiovascular disease and Alzheimer's are actually diseases of skeletal muscle. Dr. Lyon highlights the significance of skeletal muscle as the largest organ in the body and the organ of longevity. She explains that the more healthy skeletal muscle mass a person has, the greater their survivability against nearly all causes of death. Skeletal muscle plays a crucial role in regulating carbohydrate metabolism, fatty acid oxidation, and overall strength. Dr. Lyon also points out that age-related muscle wasting, known as sarcopenia, begins as early as in a person's 30s. Dr. Lyon emphasizes that exercise should be considered non-negotiable for overall health and longevity. She recommends resistance training at least three days a week, focusing on movements that translate to real-life activities. She encourages individuals to embrace discomfort and prioritize exercise as a means of improving strength and mobility, especially as they age. Dr. Lyon challenges the traditional recommendations for protein intake, which are based on the minimum amount to prevent deficiencies. She advocates for a higher protein intake, recommending close to one gram of protein per pound of ideal body weight. She explains that as people age, the efficiency of protein utilization decreases and higher quality proteins, such as animal-based proteins, are essential for maintaining muscle health. Dr. Lyon emphasizes the importance of consuming a full spectrum of amino acids for muscle health. She discusses the significance of branched-chain amino acids BCAAs, and recommends consuming a full spectrum of amino acids, either through natural sources or supplements. She also shares her own experience of using a full spectrum amino acid supplement before and after workouts to support muscle health and recovery. While Dr. Lyon acknowledges that some individuals may feel stronger later in the day, she emphasizes the importance of finding a consistent time for exercise. She encourages individuals to prioritize their own time, such as the first 60 to 90 minutes of the day, for exercise and self-care. She also acknowledges the challenges of balancing exercise with family responsibilities, highlighting the need to find a routine that works for each individual's lifestyle. Dr. Lyon stresses the importance of having a morning routine and suggests that waking up early can help in establishing a consistent routine. She shares her own morning routine, which includes a workout before heading to work. Dr. Lyon recommends high-quality protein sources for breakfast, such as lean meats, Greek yogurt, and eggs. She also suggests the use of whey protein as a convenient and effective way to meet protein needs in the morning. Dr. Lyon emphasizes the importance of consuming 30 to 50 grams of high-quality protein at the first meal to stimulate skeletal muscle and overcome anabolic resistance. Dr. Lyon discusses the significance of blood markers such as fasting insulin, fasting glucose, and triglyceride levels in assessing skeletal muscle health. She recommends maintaining fasting insulin levels at five or less and triglyceride levels within a healthy range to support skeletal muscle health. Dr. Lyon also emphasizes the role of skeletal muscle in fatty acid oxidation and its impact on blood lipid levels. Dr. Lyon challenges the conventional approach to cholesterol management and suggests that the focus should shift from LDL cholesterol to markers such as a polypoprotein B, ApoB, and triglyceride levels. Dr. Lyon provides practical tips for measuring strength metrics, including push-ups, dead hang, squats, and sit-to-stand tests. She also recommends tracking blood markers such as fasting insulin, fasting glucose, and triglyceride levels to assess skeletal muscle health. Dr. Lyon emphasizes the importance of developing a healthy mindset and shares her insights on visualization and self-discipline.